this first event in the Farmer's Walk is grip strength. With that much weight in their hands, it can sometimes feel like knives in the palms of their hands. But Brent, this is just a warm-up, getting these guys ready for the 1,325-pound super yoke that's waiting on them. And it's pretty much a dead heat. Bishop, a slight advantage into the third apparatus. That's an incredible amount of weight. Dropping it doesn't discount it. You just got to get it across the line, and Bishop does first. A cartoonish looking event. And these guys make it look relatively easy as Bishop takes the early lead, edging out Robert Obers, the American. Bishop's got to be super happy about that effort, especially being so light. And there's Robert Obers, big smile on his face, but he's currently second, but that time was well behind Bishop's. Bishop just looked smooth throughout this whole event. He was relaxed, focused, and his technique was spot on, which led him to the win. And he's standing by with Jenny Dell. Quite a bit of success this past year. Kind of take us through what it's been like over the last year. Yeah, so uh, last year was a bit disappointing for me, just missing the final. It really kind of lit a fire on me to get going. So worked really hard. Uh, got my third place at the World Tour Finals over in the UK and then got second place at Britain's this year. So yeah, kind of just on a roll a little bit. So long may it continue. You consider yourself what you call a strength nerd. Explain that to us. Um, well, my day-to-day -day job is a strength conditioning coach. So I work with rugby players and uh, I'm a big student in the game, so I love love trying to uh, get the guys I work with and myself a little bit stronger. I try lots of different things out of my training. Yeah, I love all my numbers to be perfect. How does that training play into an event like this? Yeah, that completely goes out the window when you're faced with a 600 kilo yoke. So uh, yeah, that was just kind of brute force and trying to bite down and go hard on it. Great job out there. Cheers, thank you. This is a heavyweight match. Janashi uh, is the leader after one event, and along with the deadlift, the Super Yoke and Farmer's Walks are the event that he's most confident in. So Stahlberg's going to have his hands full. Janashi weighs in at 375, Stahlberg 364. 660 pound logs, not a factor for those big old traps. And look at that transition right there. The Georgian Bull likely wins this event. That was the spot, Aaron. Now I think you just finish it off on these third apparatus. 27.60, the time to beat. He's got a bobble there, and now it's in jeopardy. And he's not going to win the event. The Georgian Bull gets it across in 29.44, but he will have to settle for a second. Seeing Stahlberg there, 1,325 pounds, probably not a factor for Stahlberg. But when you have to walk it and carry it forward, it's a whole different ball game. 47.04 is where he stops the clock. Konstantin Janashia settles for second in a time of 29.44 seconds. Andreas Stahlberg of Sweden takes fourth in the Giants medley. He says thank you as we take a look at Janashia here, just picking him up and putting him down pushing through that punishing pain of 1,325 pounds, and he gets it done. Representing Great Britain, Adam Bishop. So Great Britain's Adam Bishop wins event number two, the Giants medley for group number two in 2760. Janashi of Georgia took second, Oberst in third, Stahlberg coming in fourth. Remember, this group is down to four competitors due to Sigfus Fostal's earlier injury.